Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to Fairchild News. I'm Cody Scanlon. And I'm Alexis Garcia. Today it will be 71 degrees and sunny. We will be having pizza for lunch. Fairchild Wheeler celebrated its first prom last Friday. Let's see how the first graduating class enjoyed their night. So what was the most difficult um, thing that was planned about it? I think it's just bringing all the pieces together at the end of the day. Like, there's so many different factors to go in from the DJ to the venue to getting the kids to buy their tickets. There's just a lot of planning that a lot of people don't get to see at the end of the day. All right, so um, what was the good experience that you had during the prom planning? Um, probably prom itself was the best experience and like watching all the seniors like enjoy it and look all pretty and slay. <laughs> the prom was held last week at the Maria and Trumbull. Students, teachers, administrators, and support staff we're all there to celebrate the, our first graduating class. <laughs> there were photo booths and a background of the night sky for students to take pictures of. After taking pictures, students went to go eat dinner in the banquet hall. All right, guys, how do you feel about prom? I mean, I feel really good about prom. I feel my boys, you know. It's just lit. It's lit. How do you feel about prom? You know, I feel nice, man. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at us. Look at him. I mean, look at that. Look at him. Look at him. The Senior Superlative Awards were given out that night, and students were able to dance the night away. How was prom? It was amazing. I had such a great time. Um, how was your time at prom? It was really fun. I enjoyed um, spending time with my date, and we really had a good time and we wish the night never ended because because we wanted this party all night long and so how did you guys like prom did you guys have a good time yeah you know prom was pretty lit <laughs> no i had a good time i hung out with all my friends had a good time and what do we have in stores for juniors because for real i'm not about to play my prom needs to be that <laughs> Um, we're definitely looking at venues right now. You know, we kind of change it every year, so I mean, who knows where we'll be next year, but that's something we'll look into over the summer because I think if we could speak for all of us when we say we love seeing you guys dress up, it's like seeing our babies grow up over the years, especially, you know, the junior and senior classes this year, you know, our originals. Aw, guys. <laughs> all right. Now that prom is over, seniors only have one more week of class before they take exams. Let's go to down to Devin and Cody, who are catching up with our seniors one last time. If you know, what school are you going to next year? Either Monroe, New York, or um, Cheney in Pennsylvania. How you feel about how are you feeling about like this week, this week, and next week? Cause like the last two weeks of your high school career. I'm excited. I'm I'm ready to graduate. That's what I'm ready to do. It's good. Um. So, what are your plans for after graduation? My plans are to go to college, maybe play college soccer, and yeah, go far. I'm planning to do pre med and play soccer at the same time, which will be hard for me, but it's worth the time. It's good. So what school are you going to next year? Um, Central Connecticut. Okay, that's good, that's good. And for the last question, so you know this is the last two weeks of school, right? So how do you feel about that? I mean, I'm ready to graduate, but it's kind of sad at the same time. Yeah. That's good, all right. So what are your plans for after graduation? College. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll be moving to Florida. Um, what school are you going to next year? Um, Southern. Okay, and this being the last two weeks of school, how do you feel about that? It kind of doesn't feel realistic because like I'm still in this high school mode, mm -hmm. but like I guess it's like coming to an end and like I'm ready, but I'm not ready, but I'm more ready than I am not ready. So. I feel you. I feel you. That makes a lot of sense. Multimedia class has been taking pictures to document students in action for a program of studies. Let's see some of the things that are happening on campus. Hey guys, this is Alexis. I'm here with Mr. Molino. How are you? Doing well. So what class do you teach? I teach digital design for 10th grade. Okay, and then how would you say that relates to IT? Uh, well, it's our, one of our magnet classes for the 10th grade. So they learn a lot of things like Arduino and blogging, which they take and use in their other classes. Are you, what's your activity today? 
Well, what we're doing is um, we're doing a photography class right now where we have to go into the woods in our campus and we have to take 20 pictures of something that means something to us or like a certain theme that we're trying to capture. And we have to put into a nice like PowerPoint kind of slide and present like our feelings towards it and like the frame and like what we see out of it and like the real image of it. What class are we in right now? <laughs> we're in animal science. Uh, this is the animal science lab that the animal science classes are typically taught in. Um, right now I have one of our bearded dragons in my hand. This is Toothless. Um, this is the oldest bearded dragon that we have. He's about um, two months old. And we also have another one that's over here and he is about one month old. Um, and can you tell me about the rabbits? right now sure so right now we have four female rabbits and one male rabbit um the male rabbit is separated from the female rabbits because usually when female rabbits mate with female female rabbits mate with male rabbits they tend to get aggressive when they're in the heat so what's your name andrew Prevere. hi andrew um so can you please tell me what you guys what you're doing today so this is our uh, poe class and currently we're working on a uh kind of a robotics uh, project and so there's a bunch of different ones like you could do a marble sword or you could do an elevator or you could do one like this which was a remote controlled or a line follower car depending on which one you wanted to do so and it's pretty simple it just turns goes backwards that's what a deal are you Relay for Life is coming up. There are fundraisers happening on campus to raise money to combat cancer at Relay for Life there will be also be events such as Olympics, Dance Around the World, Mr. Universe pageant, and a lip sync battle, and a taste of home food competition. Check out Emoto or the Relay for Life page to get more details about each activity and sign up if you plan on participating. Series sign ups only, please. This was the Fairchild News. Have a great day.